Hello, my dears, it's a me, Jackie, and welcome to Cursed Baby from Nannies. Played a few things from Nannies before. Oh, there we are. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I need a, a little <laughs> bit more of mouse sensitivity. Yeah, that's much better. A uh, paper. July 25, 2024. Oh my god, it's so recent. Welcome to the team. Your first task is to repair several things around the building. Head to the basement to collect your tools. Then start the first floor. Good luck. Oh, thank you, manager. Wow. What a what a nice manager. Get tools from the basement. Okay. Just like left me a letter, didn't even talk to me, didn't give me a phone call. <laughs> Just a letter. Is that what I am for you, manager? Is that what I am for you? Oh, tools. Jesus Christ, I got so many of them. Okay. I thought this was a duck for some reason, but alright. Repair generator in room 4, pipe in room 1, and clean dust in room 1. Okay, I can do that. Can I run? I don't know. I didn't notice. Eh, slightly. Right. Room, room 4. Room 4, the generator. Who's living here? Jeez. That's the most parsley done apartment that I've ever seen. There's like one table over there that you cannot see. One fridge. One stove. My god, who's living here? What is this? January 12, 1985. We finally moved into our new home today. Lucas loves his new room. And I feel hopeful for the first time in a long while. It's been tough, but I believe things will get better here. Evelyn. You know, Evelyn, judged on how you build your house, like what you put in your house, I'm surprised that he likes his room. Where even is his room? Was his room here? <laughs> is the whole thing his room? Oh look, the generator that needs repair. Oh, wrong tool, it needs a hammer. Of course it does. The generator does not work. You hit it up with a hammer. The caboose, it works now. If you have a generator in your house that is not working, there you go. I just taught you how to do it. No, seriously, what the fuck is this place? Come on, put a little bit of effort into it, nannies. Nannies, a little bit of effort, man. Come on. Number four, number three, number two must be over there. Or number one. Ah, two, one. My god. Jesus, what is this? Oh, it's the dust. Right. Yeah, there you go. Clean the dust. February 5. Oh, it's my birthday! 1985. Well, I wasn't born then. Uh, John has been acting strangely since we moved in. He keeps talking about bad energy in the apartment and wants to cleanse it. Lucas has been usually fussy since we arrived. Was like maybe this whole place, like your apartment? Like maybe it was just transformed into some sort of hotel? And I'm, I'm just judging too soon. Pipe. Oh, there's another one. March 14, 1985. John brought home some strange books today. He said they're for protecting us, but the ritual and symbols are unsettling. Lucas cries more than usual now. John, what the fuck, man? What did you bring to the house? Oh, I found the bathroom. Right, the pipe. Is this what you use? Yep. There we go. Perfect. Right, so this is just a really big house with two kitchens. Again, probably just a really big house that was transformed in either a Baby! Baby! Come here, baby! <laughs> Don't come here, baby! Stay away from me, you fucking weirdo child! Number six is locked. Number five is locked. Okay, good. Good. Wall on number eight and dirt on number seven. There's two dirts on number seven. Let's clean the dirt on number seven first. Let's clean the wall on number eight first. Yes, number eight wall. 
Let's go home and never look back. Oh, fuck, I can't. Okay, I'm already here. I'll I'll just I'll just do my job. April 22, 1985. I found John in Lucas' room last night, chanting something over his crib. Lucas was terrified and screamed like never before. I'm so scared for us. Evelyn, I'm scared for your whole house. I want to know who the fuck lives here. Oh look, the wall. There's a big hole in this wall. Okay, great. That house is freaking huge. It's definitely going to be a nice hotel or set of apartments, but... For now, it's just creepy. Well, my manager didn't say anything about cleaning the blood, so the blood stays. Yeah, the blood stays. And the demon sacrifices also stays. I was not paid to clean that. No, is that a child? Alright, I cannot suck in the child inside my uh, thingy. May 3, 1985. I can't take it anymore. John is obsessed with rituals, believing Lucas is cursed. I feel completely powerless to protect my baby. I think you should send John to a mental hospital. John is definitely not feeling well. I don't think it's the baby's fault. Oh, right, yeah. The TV in room 9, generator in room 11, pipe in room 12. That sounds lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna close this. No babies upstairs this time? No babies. That's fantastic. Baby? No baby. That place is freaking huge. Right. Number 10. Number 9. Do I have like a flashlight or something? I have a hammer. My god, okay. Look, the TV is broken. Oh, it needs a screwdriver. I thought that I could fix it with my hammer. Well, what is going on? I love this show. Wow. Give me goosebumps every time. This is a crib? Okay, I think you went back. Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew you would be here. Come here, baby! <laughs> I just sound like a fucking monkey this time. This child is scaring me. Oh, I think the next should be the last floor. It's okay. Number 11. Lovely place. So, June 28, 1985. It happened. John's ritual went too far and now Lucas is gone. I can still hear my baby's cries echoing in the apartment. Your baby is gone like your baby is dead or your baby is gone like he learned how to walk and fled the country? Because that baby can run. He's running faster than me and I am the repair person. Is that another generator that we fix by heating it with a hammer? Lovely. I want to know why we fix the generator with a hammer. Well, it doesn't matter. It's fixed. I think that's all that matters. As long as the generator is up and running, it's good to go. This place is awful. Close that. What do I have to hear? The pipe. Okay. Pipe. There's a really big box right in the middle of the room. July 10, 1985. Lucas barely plays with his toys anymore. The wooden train just sits there. It breaks my heart to see him like this. You said that your baby was gone, and now he's playing with his train? He must be fine then. What do you mean by him being gone? Doesn't matter. I'm here to fix the bike, not to fix your problems with your baby. There we go. Looks a little bit burnt in here. This place catch on fire? Yeah, possibly. Alright, room 16. Repair a machine. I'll carry my screwdriver for the machine. Huh. 13, 14, paper. 
July 15, 1985. Lucas used to fly his wooden plane all over the apartment. Now he just sits there and touched as it's waiting for him to come back. Ah, right, now I get it. I pray this ritual works so he can find peace. And now you're the one into rituals, huh? Okay, sorry, my bad. I didn't understand that it just sits there because the baby is gone. So she's just watching it with a broken heart. Oh, I'm going there. Listen, child, um, I'm just gonna run past by you. This kid. Okay. Um, close that. I hope that baby had stayed in there. This apartment makes no sense at all. I think it's just part of the big ritual, right? The hell, did I step on it and it's gone now? The light is just gone once you step on it? Yeah, you step on the light. The light is gone. I'm- Oh my god! Alright. We- We'll pretend that the garden of bum bum green monster did not appear in there. Or better yet, we'll pretend that was what we saw and not a very creepy ass baby. Great, yeah. I'm loving this. Oh look, a door. Oh my god. Find a flashlight? Oh look, my tools are gone. How light. So nice. I think I wanted to say lovely, and I don't know what it up uh, said. I freaking love the games that as soon as you pick up the flashlight, everything goes dark. What is that thing? What are those things? Oh, it's the baby toys. Of course it is. August 1, 1985. I tried to gather Lucas's toys, the train, the plane, the horse. But I couldn't collect them all in time. Maybe that's why he's still here, waiting to be set free. Alright then. I, I was about to say I'll do that for you, but alright. Is that flashlight even working? Barely. Oh, not maze. Uh, don't give me a maze. Okay. I don't want to get close to that baby. I think that baby is going to try to kill me if I pass close to it. See, it's coming this way. Oh, I can kind of run. I forgot about that. You go in that direction. I'm going this way. Oh, I found one. A horse. Now I need to find the rest. Oh, shit! My god, what a creepy ass baby. Oh, cool. At least that one is still there, so... It's fine by me. Is this the exit? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Okay, airplane. I just need to find the train. Oh, there. The train. Okay, great. Now I need to find the exit. It should be this way somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Good, good, good. Can I close this door and keep the baby in here forever? Oh, look, I have everything. Nice. Leave the building. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I am definitely going to leave this building and never look back. I hope that was enough to make the... 
Are you serious right now? Oh, Christ, okay. That works. You said leave the building, what is this? August 1st, 1985. Thank you for what you've done. I couldn't collect all of Luca's toys in time, but you said things right. My baby can finally rest now, and so can I. Goodbye and thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Aveline. I'm, I'm happy that I could help. I'm also happy that I didn't die. I mean, I died once from heart attack after seeing that baby's face right on my face. But as long as you're happy and your baby is happy and everybody is happy, then uh, I guess I'm happy. I'm still the happiest of all. I mean, the why am I in the basement? Why did I went all the way down to the basement? I just want to leave. There we go, the exit. Yay! What do you mean? You're not gonna let me leave? Evelyn, you told me that I could leave. Oh my fucking Christ, the child! And I died anyway. Well, you're fucking welcome, Evelyn. You're welcome, you know? I just, I just, I just end the ritual that saved your freaking baby and you after your husband had some mental disorder that was never treated because 1985. But of course you have to send your baby to kill me in the end. Guess I didn't help anybody in the end of the day, did I? <laughs> well, anyway, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I'll, I'll excuse the level design. <laughs> the level design was all over the place. I'll excuse that. But the rest was quite fun. I enjoyed it. That was a nice story. And actually is a story that happens. Uh, it still happens to this day. You can still find stories of parents that thought that their babies were cursed and then they go into rituals and things like that. And it, unfortunately, it still happened. It's still a thing. But yeah, in 1985, you did not have anybody to help you mentally with that. And now you do, and now you can save babies <laughs> and not just send Evelyn's to kill you when you're just trying to be nice and help. But either way, that's it for now. That's Cursed Baby. So if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day. Bye-bye. <laughs>